This is Steve Terry from St. John's Lutheran Church. You know, the heart is an amazing organ in our body. It is the center of our emotions, according to all of those who write and speak about what the heart does. But what it really is, is it is the center of our circulation. It sends blood to all of our extremities, to all of our body, to keep us functioning at a high level and healthy. Well, I've had a heart emergency in this last eight to 10 weeks, and it came to a head this past Monday, a week ago, and I was hospitalized with heart failure. My heart is functioning only at 10%. It only pushes out a certain amount of blood, 10%, and it should be at least at 55 or 60%. It is causing me to have pneumonia and extreme breathing difficulties. And because of that, I am at a high risk of having complete heart failure. And so I'm now wearing an external heart defibrillator. I realized that I was a person who was in perfect health prior to that. My arteries and the rest of my heart is in great shape, but I have severe scarring on my left ventricle and it has caused my heart now to fail. I'm okay. I'm out of the hospital. I'm back at St. John's Lutheran Church. I'll be working a little less and I'll be monitoring my diet and trying to take care of myself. But here's what the heart does when it tries to repair itself. It enlarges and it enlarges itself so that it can try to push out the blood and receive all of it that it needs to feed the body the way it needs to. But that enlargement is always a fibrous material, a hardened material, almost like stone. You know, Ezekiel in chapter 36, verse 26, he says to the people that God is your God. And if you follow God and follow his commands, he will give you a new heart. He will take away your heart of stone and he will give you a heart of flesh. You know, when we go into emergencies, health-wise or emotional and physical, so many of us turn to our God for help. But God wants a relationship every day of our lives. God wants us to turn to him in the good and also in the difficult. I realize that my faith, my friends and my family has sustained me over this past week. And I am stronger for it. And to that end, then, I'd like to read this Bible verse again. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26. It says this, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. That is my prayer right now. Obviously, no one knows if my heart will repair itself. Because of the scarring due to COVID-19, there is so many things that are just not known. But I will pray that God will replace this heart, this enlarged heart of stone, and we replace it with a heart of flesh, supple and malleable and capable of sustaining me for my years to come. I am doing okay, the medicine is helping me and the rehab I'll do will strengthen me, but my God gives me life. He is my heart of flesh and I will rely on him as he changes my heart. May I also change my life, my mind, and my spirit to be more in line in faith with my God. So pray for me, please, I appreciate it. So many of you have already been doing so. But look at this passage and consider how your heart has been fibrous, has been made hardened, has been made of stone. And seek God to make it a heart of flesh, a heart of forgiveness and love and kindness. And may you be blessed today.